hello guys welcome to another video in this series we are now on question number 11 where which is part of section B where we are solving the short questions the one mark questions here let's get started the first question that we have is an MCQ Unilever PLC said on Thursday that it would continue to raise prices of its detergent soaps and packed food to offset rising input costs and ease up those hikes in the second half of 2023. This is an excerpt taken from the Reuters. What are the options that we have? Which one of the following is the reason for the decision taken by Unilever PLC? First one, to repair the company's debt equity ratio so that it can derive the benefits of trading on equity. This information doesn't talk about debt or equity anything to repair the company's trade receivables ratio in order to reduce the risk of bad debts again this doesn't talk about that to repair the company's gross margin as the industry has been battling with covid era supply chain issues and raw material expenses this makes sense in this regard as it would if it increases the price of the detergents and soaps the selling price will increase and that will help to offset the input cost which is the cost of goods sold so that will definitely help to ease out the gross profit which is the gross margin mentioned here this is the likely option let's have a look at the fourth one to repair the company's inventory turnover ratio as the cost of warehousing had increased due to accumulation of stock again this is not relevant here so option c is the answer that we have Let's move on to the next one. While preparing a cash flow statement, which of the following will be added to the net profit for the year to get net profit before tax? Sale of plant and machinery, no. Interest received on investments, again, no. Increase in trade payables, no. Increase in general reserve, yes. We add this to arrive at the net profit before tax. Sunshine Limited had a current ratio of 0.7 is to one. Its current assets being rupees 2 lakh and current liabilities being rupees 2 lakh 50,000. However, if you find out the ratio of this two, it doesn't come out to be 0.7, it comes out to be 0.8. However, let's have a look at the question. What will be the revised current ratio of Sunshine Limited after it dishonors one of its bills payable of rupees 30,000? Now, if it dishonors, the bills payable which is part of current liability is reduced but at the same time the creditors increase so net net there is no change in the liabilities it remains the same no change in the assets of the company as well so the ratio also remains the same be it 0.7 is to 1 or 0.8 is to 1 the ratio remains the same okay let's move on to the next one number four the books of accounts of Zebra Limited showed change in inventories of raw materials rupees 70,000, which is a negative figure, and opening inventory of rupees 240,000. The first question is You are required to give the formula used by the company to calculate the change in inventories. The formula is opening inventory minus closing inventory. That gives us the change in inventories. Okay, straightforward second one you have been provided with one comp one component for calculating the change in inventories calculate the other component so the one component that they have given us is the opening inventory the other one we have to calculate is the closing inventory all right so straightforward maths we use here if opening inventory minus closing inventory is minus 70000 so let's do it here opening inventory minus closing inventory equals negative 70,000 so if you want to calculate the closing inventory here it will be a straightforward calculation so closing inventory equals to opening inventory 
plus 70,000. This is simple mathematical equation. So in that case, closing inventory equals 240,000 plus 70,000. That comes to 3,10,000. So that's the answer. Okay, let's move on to the last one in the short questions that we have. Question number five here, Roman five. Mention whether accrued interest on investments would result in inflow, outflow, or no flow of cash. And as we can understand by the word accrued, this has not been received yet, right? So no cash inflow has taken place. So this will not result in any flow of cash. So no flow of cash is the answer. All right, we'll catch you all in the next video with the next set of questions that we have in the series. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments box below. Do share this video with your friends who can benefit out of it. If you want to get notified whenever the next video comes, do click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching guys.